Hi, Tommy Singh here. You may remember me from videos such as Best Beach Camp in Victoria and Touring Mount Gambia. In this video, we're going to install this bad boy, the 23-0-270 degree Falcon awning. This isn't the freestanding one. This is the older one, not the old one. So, unfortunately, I missed out on that. But stick around and see how, they, how I installed it. I'm deep from the mud. There's dirt on my head. What you get in the 23-0 Falcon 270 awning is obviously the awning itself. It's pretty well packaged. <coughs> Set of instructions, some mounting hardware. In here you've actually got some pretty cool pegs. So you've got some nice good sturdy steel pegs, which is good for a change. Uh, your straps to uh, hook it down on either end. And then in here a whole heap of guide ropes, which um, most of these I'll change out to the tie gear ones. And then in here you've got your added poles that you have to put in. Uh, also with it, you've got these nice it's still pretty loose, I haven't actually done them up tight. Some nice, sturdy brackets, which is good for a change. Normally you get real shitty brackets. I've got my mounting brackets on, which I'll give you a look at a moment on how I've actually done that. Uh, the kit actually does come with these U-bolts. So if you've got a round tube uh, roof rack, these will be ideal for that. But you can just go in and then just slot them into the either side of the mounts um, it also comes with these stainless steel six of these stainless steel nuts and washers so what they do is you'll have to work out a mark where you have to uh, put the bolts in the actual awning itself because the bag actually goes all the way around so you have to cut a little hole put these into a little track and they'll go just hanging out here and then obviously once the awning's there that's on you can actually do them up. So the mount itself, uh, the reason why I ended up changing them, these are actually a lot more thicker and stainless steel. They're probably more usable because they the length of them. As you can see, I've got a couple from my previous awnings, holes already. They actually did line up to the couple of the holes that I already had in the roof rack, which is ideal. So what I've done is I've put a stainless steel bolt through there, stainless steel bolt through there, underneath here as well, I've got a piece of steel. And that's gonna be fairly sturdy, it's not gonna go anywhere. Anyway, my next step is to get the awning up, up here, line it up and then mark the holes that I need to uh, cut through. So I'll do that now. So the main thing is, is to make sure that you've got the little Velcro flap and the 23-0 logo based in the front of the car, because that's obviously the front. Okay, so what I've done is I've put the awning up against the bracket, up along here, marked out with a texture of where my holes need to go, and then obviously just cut a little cross on each one. So that's good for this side. I'm going to put this one in finger tight, and I'm hoping the middle and the end I can have enough room to manipulate them to actually um, get them aligned. So I'll do that now. I've marked this last one. I've still got the bottom one to do in the middle and the bottom one to do here. Right, I worked out roughly where it needs to go. Make sure you can see in the camera that there's a little white dot there. Right now, all that I have to do is find where the track is. Make sure I'm doing it in that, that hole. And just cut a star. Pull the awning cover back. Slide it in there. Put 
and then poke him through. Okay, I'll lift him up and put him back in. Just put him on finger tight for the time being. And now it's just time to mark up the two bottom ones. And then it's um, pretty much done. I'll probably, I'm losing light at the moment. I started this very late in the afternoon and there's a big thunderstorm coming up. So I'll get him all secured on and I'll probably open it up in a day or so once it dries out a bit. 